What do you think, Starbs? Snow camping? Snow camping. Oh yeah, easy peasy, bud. Easy peasy. Here's the spot down this fun snowy hill. So this is the most snowy things I've done in this rig. Most snowy things I've done in a while. So we're breaking trail here, but this could be dumb. I'm trying to hold the camera while I do this. I don't have great snow tires on this rig. I've been waiting to come out on a trip like this and have it suck to justify buying new ones. What do you think, Starbuck? Is it time to buy new ones? Not yet, that was too easy. Damn it. So it has been a dream of mine to go snow camping ever since I bought this rig. Really best case scenario, just some ruts with fun snow to drive in to get here. And then just around the loop here was actual wet snow to play around in. And now we're camping in the snow in the rain. The setup is simple. Love this awning, good purchase. Uh, the river is right there. Duff Hands rig is in front. And then in the back, I have modified this slightly. I closed it because the stupid dog was jumping in there, which she might try to do again but I got rid of the elevated platform because as some of you rightly pointed out, it was kind of uncomfortable being that close to the ceiling. And I don't really like being on display, like right in front of the window. So I made it into a half platform, added the net on top for random stuff. And we're gonna try this setup. Um, the X-pad fits perfect. I made this sleeping platform to level it out. It's really, it's just a three quarter inch piece of plywood with carpet around it. And it levels it out with the front of the back. So with this sleeping pad, you don't even notice it, but that's the setup for tonight. One downside to this setup, I don't have a dedicated spot for the dog unless she gets up on top of that platform, but she won't. She's going to lay on top of me, so we'll see how uncomfortable that is and revise as we go because the whole point of this rig was to be able to take her places, so yeah. I need to have room for her. So that's self-inflating and I'm letting it and then all I have to do, throw my sleeping bag out and I brought my own pillow. Car camping, man, when you motor camp all the time, car camping is easy mode. I pulled out two things, put the awning up, I'll throw my sleeping bag on that mattress and I'm good, done. And if I wanna roll out in the morning without packing up anything, I'll roll the awning up, throw everything in the bag and leave. Now it's on to the most important part of camping, which is the consumption of hydration with malted barley and hops. You know that Arrested Development when George Sr. makes those VHS tapes of his kids fighting and sells them as boy fights? We should do that. Dog fights. You know you're in a badass snow spot when a minivan drives by on the road you came in on? Not sure you could get down here though. Well, you could get down here. Not sure you could get out. So we knew from the forecast there was gonna be spurts of crap weather. That was a big rain burst that just stopped right when I turned the camera on. But it's supposed to be better tonight and then suck in the morning. So getting out of here is not gonna be great. That's the point of winter camping. You can't wait till it's a perfect day. Right, Starbuck? Right. Here you go, Murph. There's a big pool down there just waiting for you, bud. Kind of gorgeous here, though. There's the setup. For now, we're going to get the fire going and make some chili. Is he down? Did he slide down? Hopefully he can get back. Oh, oh. He made it. He made it. Good job, Murph. Good job, Murph. So I had one condition for this trip. Duck Van had to make his famous chili that he made last time we were. And that was actually spring break. It may have actually been spring, but it was late winter at the worst camping. I was like, I want to snow camp and I want to eat chili. And that's my big bushcraft fire pit and grill, by the way. I love that thing, but we're going to use some briquettes to get it rolling and then slow cook it for a while. It's the highlight of this video. I haven't bothered to film anything else. So we're all excited. Yeah, those are charcoal briquettes, dog. They're not really that delicious. I guarantee it. Also, Starbuck just finished her dinner out of my Rocky Mountain dog bowl they sent me. Did you know they make dog bowls? That's fun. I think it's neat, but whatever. Blatant product placement, I guess. Looks like it's ashing up a little. Nope, lies. <laughs> it went out. <laughs> I blew on it. Sorry, I'll stop that. <laughs> I've upped my game with vacuum seal. What? Bags. So you browned up a bunch of hamburger and vacuum sealed it? Murphy, you are not helping. Yeah, wait. You can't, I can't see the bags, Murphy. Damn, dude, that's some bougie shit. So it's all done, we just have to let it simmer. That's just condensation, dog. Yeah. Well, you didn't put any water out for me. Okay, fair. Wow, you did that really well. What are you doing? Go down one on this side. There you go. There you go. Let's see. Uh, how it handles yeah. the weight. <laughs> if it just smashes it, we might be in trouble. Although you could pull that grill out and just set that right on the coals. We didn't use the fire pit because it's 
soaked and full of crap and snow. So, and it wasn't close enough to the awning. We just want to be able to get over the awning if it gets wet. Whoa, is your spring assisted? Show off. Yeah. I wish I had smell-o-vision because it smells fantastic already. And it's just sauteed vegetables. Oh, can't close it so easy, Mr. Spring Assist. Eh? Yeah, you're about to stab yourself in the leg. Mine isn't spring assist, but I can close it one-handed. This is less a camping video and more a cooking video, I'm thinking. Yeah, this is not gonna be the most appetizing looking thing at the moment. It's a frick of hamburger. Did you pre-season the meat? A little bit. Most of the seasoning is in with the bean mixture. Ah, well that's what's gonna season the air for the rest of the night. You got a great shot of your crotch right now. Murphy, oh. Murphy, I'm gonna get your face sliced open. We, we know what the people want. Your wife is the people. Nobody else wants that. I promise. All the good juice is at the bottom, dude. You gotta get that out. Man, this is way different than just opening up a ton of cans like last time. A little tomato sauce. Some diced and some crushed. All flavorful, though. Oh, yeah. Use 11 herbs and spices to season that. Roll that beautiful bean footage. What's campfire cooking without a stick or a pine, pine needle? Pine needle? It? Fur needle. The only thing better than amazing chili is amazing chili when you're camping in the snow next to a river and smoking a cigar with your friend and your dog. That's gonna be pretty good. I could smell it, Guaranteed. it smells amazing. So we're just partaking in other vices as we wait for it to, uh, it's cooked, but like, you know how much better chili is when you just let it simmer for a long period of time. So my wife's chili is the best chili I've ever had, but Duck Fan's chili is pretty good. So we figure we'll let it simmer for the length of, of Mr. Puff Puff. Anyway, I don't. there's not much to report. It's gonna be a short video, but it's cold. Um, I got my feet wet tromping around in the snow, so I'm trying to dry them off by the fire. I put some wood on top of the charcoal. We put the dogs in the forerunners so that they can get warm and chill out for a bit because they're both tired from all the wrestling and very wet. And that's where we're at right now. And in a bit, we're gonna have chili. So, camping. Yeah, I got a bowl out. I'm ready. I'm ready to bowl out. Chili's off the fire. We're gonna have some here in a minute. We're just letting it cool down and congeal a little. We got some chili. We got some cheese. We got some sour cream. Oh, I almost dropped it on the ground. Oh man, I'm starving. I have a spoon. We got some Juanitas, which are the greatest chips on the planet Earth. Oh yeah. Thank you, Duck Fan, for this most excellent feast. Oh, mm. I was starving, bro. We came dangerously close to bailing. I could tell in the text message conversation we were having. I was afraid we were going to get up here and it was just going to be rainy. Yeah, that would the suck. The whole time. Cold is okay. Snow is good. Rain the whole time. That's not that fun. <laughs> not the best. Chilly. This is the blooming process. Gotta wait 25 seconds. I don't even pour the rest of the water in. So this is the new cup of mocha setup that I'm testing a few camping coffee setups that for Moto Camp Nerd for a video I'm working on. So it seemed like a good time to try this one. Duck Pan's already packing up. He's like, this rain is not optimal. I'm getting out of here. It's supposed to pour in a circle, which is hard when you're using a jet boil, but it's also pouring too much. I guess I could use the hole in the lid, but it doesn't usually do a damn thing. Man, I, I can't wait for the comments from the coffee snobs. Like, yes, I don't know what I'm doing and I don't really care because I'm not a coffee connoisseur. I just want a cup of coffee. It doesn't have to be perfect. I love you coffee snobs, do your thing. But 
Let us yeah. morons be morons. What I want to know is, did you even bother to weigh the grounds to the closest gram? No, but I used the scoop. These setups require you to take more stuff, right? Because I can just make coffee right in my jet boil. But then I have to clean my jet boil and everything I cook in it tastes like coffee. That actually looks like actual coffee. It does. It's dark as That looks good. Look at this. It even has its own lid. So now I have a mug to drink out of all morning. Look at that. Beep. Delicious. The best part about this is I can just drive home with it like this. So this is shockingly good. I, again, I'm not a coffee sauber and aficionado, but this tastes so much better than my jet boil French press. Now, part of that is I never let it sit long enough because I'm thirsty. So this is faster too, which I like, but it requires you to carry this whole set, this thing. Everything kind of goes into this, but it's definitely more bulk to carry to make coffee. But you don't have to carry a cup. Not that it matters because mine folds down, but anyway, uh, that's pretty good. Um, the coffee's good, so. I think we're on the, just in denial that we're about to pack up and leave because it's raining and wet and there's really, it's not fun to be here. So I'm gonna finish my coffee and I always like to use that burst of energy to pack up. Fortunately, it doesn't take long with this setup. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to get soaked while I take this awning down because I'm not seeing a break in any of the weather. So that will be the hardest part, but otherwise everything's already in the rig. I just have to roll up my sleeping pad and stuff my sleeping bag and we're good to go. I should probably feed the dog. She's about to steal all Murphy's food. But anyway, that's what's happening right now. It took like four minutes to put that up. That's not bad. So that thing is soaked and it's gonna have to get dried off when I get home, but there's nothing we can do about it. So it's like actively, it's wet snow right now. So we're gonna head home, uh, get out of here, have a little fun on the snowy road. But thanks for coming along on this admittedly short video, non moto camping adventure. But it's always nice to get out in the snow and hang out with Duck Fan and the dogs. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget that uh, if you want to pick up any of the gear I use, you can do that by using my affiliate links and support the channel at the same time. It doesn't cost you any extra, and you get the satisfaction of knowing your purchase helps support dorky motorcycling and camping shenanigans. Thank you to my channel members and patrons who make content like this possible. Thank you to DuckFan for being here and suffering in the cold with me, but we're going to head home, get warmed up, and let our dogs destroy the inside of our rigs. So for now, and as always, I just want to say thank you very much for watching, and please do not forget to be excellent to each other. Oh, thank you.